So we all know that the Panasonic G86 shoots in ProRes 5.7K and I wanted to see in a video to really examine how much more image quality we get if we shoot in ProRes uh, than if we shoot in H.265. So we're out here in the harbor in Malmö, Sweden on a sun, sunny day in Mars and this is not so very common. So we're out shooting. Uh, we have a scene with great dynamic range. We will see if how big is the difference between shooting in H.265 and ProRes. So one of the reasons to why I actually shoot in ProRes is going to be the ability to edit your your files uh, natively in your editing suite, and that's one probably the biggest reason. However, shooting in ProRes uh, also has it uh, also has its downsides, and one of the biggest downsides is going to be the large file sizes. So this is why I wanted to see how big is the difference between shooting in ProRes uh, in the quality, how much more color information do we have in ProRes than shooting in H.265. So right now we're shooting at 5.8K in H.265 just to see how big is the difference between the files. Now also when we're shooting in H.265 we have the ability to go up and shoot in open gate and what that means is that we're actually using the whole sensor and not only 16 by 9 that we're doing in in the ProRes 5.7K. So you will have a benefit there because you are actually capturing more of the of the image so you will be able to crop a little bit in post uh, when it comes to the upper side and the downsides of the image. Sure. Also another thing is that we have a really high dynamic range situation right now where we are shooting to into the buildings where we have shadows but we also have really uh, bright highlights so this is going to be really interesting to see if we have any gain in dynamic range I I'm I actually don't think we're gonna have that uh, any gain in dynamic range but I would hope to see that we actually have some benefits in progress when shooting when it comes to the color so if we have more color latitude but to see that we actually need to take the footage into uh, either DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro and play with the images and see if we get any artifacts afterwards. I'm trying to look at the footage. Uh, I have been trying to put on, I have trying to color grade like really severely just to try and break up the footage. And we can see here, uh, looking at the details, if we zoom in, we can see how this color grade is actually what it's doing to the image. You can see some blocking here, but this is so extreme color grading. And honestly, when going through both of these images and zooming in real, really close, it's very hard to see any difference. I have looked at the sky and it's quite similar to both of them. And looking at the sharpness, also there, it's this the it's a minimal difference, if any. Uh, so I'm not sure how big the difference is between the ProRes RAW and the H.265. One of the big differences is going, of course, going to be, as I said in the beginning of this video, uh, when it comes to editing your footage. Uh, I'm sitting here on the latest um, I, uh, MacBook Pro, uh, the the max one with 64 gigs of RAM. So for me, it won't probably do any difference when it comes to editing because these machines are almost made for H.265. However, if you're sitting on an old computer, this might actually do quite a big difference. After looking at the footage uh, in post, I actually couldn't see a big difference. And this is probably something that I was expecting because the Pro ProRes codec is basically made to be computer and editable edit friendly. And this is surely the case for me. I am now using the newest MacBook Pro to edit my videos. And it's actually very optimized to the H.265 codecs that there are out there. So for me, probably there isn't a, a really big reason to use ProRes, uh, even though I really love that codec. My estimation is that the H.265 file is gonna be four to five times smaller. And if you go to the ProRes HQ, it's gonna be nine times smaller than that so 
So if you want to save some space, I would probably go with the H.265 codec. If you have a computer that can't handle the H.265 and you probably will need a newer computer to handle that. So if you have an older computer, shoot ProRes. If you have a newer one that can handle H.265, shoot that. I would actually go with the 5.8K. Uh, just because you will get more leverage in post and you will get a larger frame because you are using the whole sensor uh, while recording. So guys, if you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channels because there are a lot more GH6 videos coming up. Until the next time, bye bye.